Hello, my dear viewers, welcome to a new episode. I don't know the pig's sound. I always saw it mute and never knew its sound. But I can do Pumba. Dr. Nick Haslam, of the Australian University of Melbourne, in an article on cursing with animal names said that sometimes the curse word is a symbol for a certain quality in that animal. The mouse or chicken, if someone is a coward, the snake, bites when you least expect, if someone is sneaky and shows many faces, he's a chameleon. That's the first kind of curse words. The second kind, is cursing using the animal itself, not for a specific quality, but as a whole it gives a vibe of disgust and hatred towards the animal. Like saying, you pig, see how strong that one is. That's when you find out that pigs are hated in general, they're known to be disgusting, stupid, and lazy. The greedy investor who wouldn't sell is referred to as a pig. A greedy creature that eats anything in its way, even garbage. In the movie Snatch, Bricktop advised them to get rid of the body by having it eaten by the pigs. That's because pigs do eat anything put in front of them. Insects, garbage, dead bodies. People who raise pigs say that they are beggar and needy animals. So what, abo mead, they open up cupboards, storages, and fridges and keep looking? Yes, my friend, that's what they said. Sometimes, pigs are aggressive towards people who are holding food, gluttonous. The pigs is of 70 centimeters height, and despite that, its weight can reach up to 300 kilogram that's the average, that's the in-shape pig in some cases it can exceed a ton. Pigs are considered the fattest land mammals, with fats percentage higher than any land creature. This gluttony made the pig fall into karma. 10,000 years ago, my friend, when all animals were afraid and cautious with humans, pigs ignored all the danger man represents and got close because of the food remainders and their crops and nuts. A pig. Hey, will you pass that? Hey, you. That's when man captured pigs, and when they found that it's a fast weight gaining animal, and gluttonous who eats anything, they said it's good to raise and domesticate. Indeed, man domesticated the wild boar. Pumbaa. Wild boars aren't one kind. There's the warthog, yes that's Pumbaa, Timon's friend, he was eating worms the entire movie. There's also the pygmy hog, and it's so small it can fit in your pocket. There's the babarusa, or the pig deer, and it's a very weird pig, its fangs were teeth that got too long till they penetrated its upper jaw and came out. Among all these kinds, man domesticated the wild boar, it even looks close to pet pigs. It just has longer legs and dark hair and its skin is brown or dark that's for the camouflage, if it's hunting a prey whether birds or snakes, or even when hiding from predators, like tigers and lions. Especially that it's more active during the night or dawn. On another hand, the pet pigs, most of them are pink. That's because their skin stop producing melanin, that gives them pigmentation. That's because of the selective breeding. For some reason, humans loved the pink pig more, mostly to show it off among the tribes. But besides that boasting, Pigs were originally raised for their meat. In the agricultural societies like ancient Egypt, they used them in lands to plant the seeds with their feet, and fertilize soil with their feces. Sometimes they extracted from their body fluids eye remedies, or grind their teeth and add more ingredients to be used on wounds. Humans used the pig in the old days in everything except food. What, abo mead, was it forbidden? Yes, true. The pig in ancient Egypt was also forbidden, or at least among higher classes and priests. Herodotus, the Greek historian, says that ancient Egyptians thought that the pig is an impure animal, and any Egyptian who touches it has to purify himself in the Nile. That was probably the first attitude taken against the pigs, which was probably because of their habits. Don't they always say, never wrestle with a pig in the mud? Dot you get dirty and the pig likes it. Makes sense. The pig loves rolling around in mud and eating rubbish no problem. It sees the garbage and rubbish, and puts a big tasty sauce there and eats. Also, the pig was hated because its meat rotted fast, so many cultures didn't raise it in summertime. In the heat of the Gulf area, it was hard to kill a pig and eat its meat before it rots. It was easier to butcher a chicken and eat it the same day. Other than that, pigs are stubborn and aren't easygoing, so they didn't match their lifestyle that's based on continuous moving. They just wanted to sit around and eat. At the same time, Pigs are fast breeders, if there's a drought, you can butcher them all, and when the rain comes back, they'll easily reproduce, faster than sheep, goats, and cows. Until the 5th century BC, the Middle East was dependent on four animals regarding meat. They were mainly dependent on sheep, goats, cows, and pigs. Till Judaism came and forbade eating pigs, which was mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, and the swine, because it divided the hoof. 
meaning its hooves are cracked, like sheep and goats, yet cheweth not the cud, as in it's not a ruminant animal. As if I get it, abo mead, like cows and goats, they have a digestive system that swallows, and when they rest, they can retrieve food to their mouths. Chew a little, get tired, food drops in stomach, then chill somewhere nice, and get the food chew it again calmly with the barn view. That's being ruminant. That's why goats and cows always do this. They keep chewing. The pig isn't ruminant, its stomach is simple like man's. That's why it's said, it is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. And then Islam comes along, and assures forbidding eating it unless necessary, he has only forbidden you to eat carrion, blood, swine. Not just the meat, Imam Razi said, the nation agreed that, the pig with all its parts is forbidden. Because the pig doesn't get any part of it tossed away from head to hoof. The Dutch artist, Christian Mindertsma followed the track of the pig once slaughtered, and found that it gets into 185 products, face creams, soap, yeast, butter, medications, and paintwork. It's even in gun bullets. How? A B.O. Mead, isn't it a bit big? In its production, you funny friend. Not to mention its meat. Even though it's forbidden in two important religions, pork is. Wait for it, the most commonly consumed meat worldwide. What, not the cow? Nope, not the cow. How? And here's the big part, not the cow of course, cow's meat is in third place. The cow? Third place? How? Did you forget the fried chicken? Anyway, my friend, pork is in first place, then chicken, then cow meat. That's because pig is abundant and easily produced. However, even the cultures that do eat it find it a disgusting and nasty animal. Dr. Melanie Joy in her book, Why We Love Dogs, Eat Pigs, and Wear Cows, says that she asks students about dogs' characteristics. So, they said things like playful, cuddly, smart, protective. Then she asked them about pigs, and they said they're sweaty, dirty, stupid, ugly, lazy, and fat. Pig, thank you, man. How nice. Then she asked how many students saw a dog before, so they all raised their hands. Then she asked how many saw a pig before, and a few raised their hands. Then where did they this image form? They said they saw it in pictures, movies, books, and on TV. Pig singing a famous song, they talked about me and you believed, they talked to me about you, and I believed them, it's a strange thing that seeing a pig in real life is so rare for us. I know it's forbidden in our region. But even in most countries, it's more common to see cows grazing than pigs. Even though, pigs that are farmed for food are a lot more than cows. But, the reason for this is that pigs require special indoor captivity. That makes them seem dirty, lazy, and stupid. However, that's not the reality. The 20th century classification of the pig as a type of cattle is no longer accurate. Because it's starting to join dogs as a pet that's a bit more difficult to raise because it has complicated needs, and it requires constant communication. It's very active, and it needs toys for constant mental stimulation. Because contrary to the common misconception, pigs aren't lazy. Pigs are active and violent animals. Pigs are forbidden in a country like Pakistan, because 96% of its population are Muslims. However, it's a home for a large number of wild boars. The Eurasian boars annoy them. These boars bother people, because they eat crops, attack people, and ruin properties. There's a case of boar rage in Pakistan. But, their activeness isn't always bad. When mother pigs give birth in nature, they isolate themselves from the herd. They walk a long distance with their big bellies that could reach 6.5 kilometers, until they find a safe place to give birth. And spend hours building a nest for the babies. To grasp the amount of effort put into building the nest. Let me tell you that a single nest weighs about a quarter of a ton of plants. So, pigs generally need freedom and wide spaces. Because they normally spend their day sniffing around, and digging. And shoving its weird nose in everything. A pig's nose is very sensitive to smell and touch, it smells things underground. Their nose has big nostrils to breathe in more air, and cool the body. So, they're always oinking, because it releases a big amount of air. At the same time, it's made of strong cartilages to push things around. That is a very common behavior for pigs called rooting. It uses its snout to push soil and objects. This behavior is implanted in them since childhood, when they push their mother's teeth to trigger milk letdown. And after they are weaned, they continue this behavior for comfort. Also, pigs don't roll in the mud just for fun, 
they are simply helpless, and don't have enough sweat glands to cool off their bodies. So, like elephants, they cover themselves in mud. Pigs that live in cold environments are clean. They don't roll in mud. For example, Pig Beach in the Bahamas. Wait. Pigs went to the Bahamas, and I haven't? Stay at your local beach, my friend. Pigs there swim in the water, eat biscuits, and drink piña colada. And their form is a ton, or higher. Pigs, my friend, are clean animals. They don't defecate near their food and nest. However they don't have other options in captivity. Pigs, my friend, get bored quickly and dislike routine. Think about how it feels to stand in line for something, or if your friend kept you waiting for four hours to get ready. It's painfully boring. Now imagine if you constantly feel that way. That's how pigs feel in captivity. There's nothing to do, every day is the same. Boredom happens for animals when they lack stimuli. Meaning, no one provokes them. Meanwhile, they have a high motivational drive. They want to be provoked. Come here little piggy, sweatless, garbage-eating piggy. Here, pigs experience similar things to us when we get tired. Anxiety, depression, and mental and physical illness. Pigs start to fight together loudly, or they eat too much till they get fat and source inflammation. Wait, really, a biomed? No, I meant joint inflammation, but it was a Freudian slip. Sorry, I've got sources on the mind. Imagine having a curious animal like a pig that wants to discover the world and sniff around, then putting it in a metal cage, where it can't even turn around. Where it eats, gets bigger, and reproduces. And when it finally gives birth to kids to have fun with, they take them away. What's important for these farms is to have as many pigs as possible. They have no chance to form bonds or to find safety within a group. Especially, if you're caged on hard concrete. In addition to depression, they develop ulcers and injuries. There's a documented condition in pigs called procine stress syndrome this is like PTSD in humans. The pig experiences muscle spasms, stress, panting, and presents a skin rash, and it sometimes dies from terror. And that's unlike our misconception that they have no feelings. The crazy part is, and only on our show, that pigs are very sensitive creatures. They don't only scream if in pain, they also scream if humiliated. There's, in fact, very little videos for pigs during farming and production. However, there's one viral video of a pig being guided by his owner with a stick, which is the best way to deal with a pig, but the pig was screaming. Imagine having a curious animal L. People wondered why was it doing that. Pigs, my friend, make 20 different sounds. Blinking, grunting, and barking. However, the worst of them is squealing. Pigs simply scream. The most terrifying thing to ever hear is pigs screams in slaughterhouses. Pigs go through exceptional measures, whether during breeding, capturing, or slaughter. For example, their tails have to be cut off, because when they're stressed, they bite it. It's usually cut without sedation or sharp tools. Given its weak bones and heavy weight, the pig's legs sometimes break, and gets beaten to walk. They also gather in great numbers and a huge crowd, that they were never used to. Pigs live in a herd in nature, that consists of a certain amount of pigs, and they all know one another. When the mother wanted to give birth, she walked 6.5 kilometers. Because she might have wanted a spacious place. In captivity, every day to them is torture, where they only hear their family members screaming, and you can see helplessness and sadness in their eyes. But why only the pigs, ABO meat? All farm animals live the same. Chickens definitely worry on their chicks. Cows are sad when separated from their young ones, and all sheep knows one another in the herd. You're right, my friend, but let me point out that pigs are different. Because they're in the Bahamas? If we made a list with the smartest 10 animals, the pig would probably be among the top 5. Not just farm animals, but smart animals like dolphins, chimpanzees, and elephants. Pigs are smarter than dogs, for example, and learn faster than primates and dolphins. In an experiment, researchers brought four pigs in front of a video game, where they move the joystick with their nose to hit the blue wall with the dot. And when the dot hits that blue wall, the pig gets food. Pigs understood it quickly and knew how to play. Researchers said that having the animal capable of connecting between the movement of the joystick and what appears on screen isn't simple. Especially that the animal doesn't have a thumb to move the joystick, and it's also far-sighted. The device broke down mid-experiment, it no longer served food when they hit the dot in the blue wall, but the pigs kept on playing, just because the researchers were sweet talkers, as if these pigs are enjoying the game. The researcher Candace Crony says, 
that pigs are sensitive to how we deal with them and it affects them. She commented on the pig's intelligence, that dogs and cats look at you, but pigs look at you eye to eye. Try looking into its eyes, you'll see intelligence, just crop the nose and look. Someone looking in a pig's eye, what's all this IQ, you played puzzle as a kid. You're so smart. It's true that researchers were stunned by the pig's behaviors, but to anyone working in a pig farm, this was far away from a surprise. Pigs can always manipulate in any situation till they get what they want. Act pity but they're witty. Pigs are stiff and stubborn. Researchers in Etvo's Laurent University, brought two four months pig and dog, to see the difference of their behavior with us as humans. When researchers gave them food, the dog and the pig would look into the researcher's face, when the food stopped, dogs were also looking at the researcher. And the pig would ignore them and do something else. It understood it all, and that the researcher is playing cool. Alright. Look for another to finish the experiment. Eye for an eye, human eyes me and all pig efyu, in another experiment. The researchers put two food dishes, and bring untrained pig and dog, and have humans point to them one dish from both. Dogs went to the dish that the researchers pointed at. But the pigs went to the dish they wanted regardless of which they were pointed to. This experiment is explained by people that dogs are obedient while pigs are stubborn. This difference tells a lot about their evolution journey with man. Dogs were domesticated 15,000 years ago, just to work side by side with humans. Guard them and fish with them. Pigs are dated less than 10,000, and not raised just for guarding, playing, and laughing, they're raised for their meat. This discrimination contributed in the difference between pigs and dogs, regarding dealing with other people since they were young. Pigs are the most underrated animal in the animal kingdom. The drastic measures are taken with any animal, but the mental image we have of the pig, that it's a huge fatty body without feelings, an evil animal that deserves all hurt. This all made it bad to deal with it, it's just an animal. What we do is that we describe a non-human creature with human traits, we paint it with our morals based on how it looks like, while we never dealt with it before. We only knew it through anthropomorphism. We applied things within us as humans on that creature. This increased as culture progresses and our connection with the wilderness, the natural habitat, and other creatures breaks. We form our impressions on animals from animations and films. So to many people, a pig is greedy, a bear is cute, a fox is sneaky, an owl is wise, and a cat eats and denies, even though it didn't eat nor deny. They were more realistic qualities than an animal. The ancient man saw the pig as an animal or a machine, that turns anything into meat. Feed it anything, and it'll produce meat and fat. Since then, and the gift just keeps on giving. But today we know more about pigs, and all animals deserve mercy anyway, and definitely intelligence isn't the standard, it just increases its awareness of the psychological and physical pain which makes more sense to be merciful towards it. All religions instructed mercy, so forbidding eating some animals isn't a justification to hurt them, nor is anything a reason to hurt them in any way. That's all my friend. Last but not least, don't forget to watch the old episodes and the new ones, look at the sources, and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Always remember my friend, that some people in your life if a pig saw them, it'll be mouth-watered. Why, a b o mead? Because their personalities are garbage. Thank you.